Hi and welcome to the second part of this iOS video on installing and running Xcode. We're going to go ahead and run Xcode now. We've, we've installed it and I assume that you've installed it as well. The installation procedure is, is really simple. You just drag the uh, file in the DMG, the disk image file, over to the application directory and you're all set. Uh, so I've just uh, put my application Xcode on the toolbar so I'm just going to open it, going to run it, and we'll see this Welcome to Xcode window. The first time you run Xcode, you may see a window that says you need to update system components. Just go ahead and allow that to happen. So we have some selections here to create a new Xcode project or connect to a repository, learn about using Xcode, uh, and uh, go to Apple's developer portal. If you click on the Learn About Using Xcode, you'll get the Organizer window which will give you the documentation for Xcode, which is really very good, the local documentation. Uh, we can also get this organizer window anytime we want to within Xcode itself. So what we're going to do is create a new Xcode project, and really all we're doing here is making sure that our installation all works, and it should with no problems at all. So we clicked on Create a New Xcode Project, and we get the Xcode window, and then we get this template window. <coughs> So it's asking us to choose a template for our new project. We can develop for iOS and also OS X. Right now we're going to click under OS X, the application templates, and then we'll choose command line tool and click on next. And now I'll type the name of my product and I'm going to call it Hello World. Like that. The organization name <coughs> is whatever you want it to be, whatever your organization name is. And the company identifier should be kind of a, uh, a reverse lookup kind of name. Here I have com.ebook. This should also reflect your company name, perhaps a website of your company, but it should be reversed. If your, uh, if your website, for instance, was ebook.com, this should be com.ebook. And then the bundle identifier will be that string plus the name of your application. For now, we're just going to use the C type for our application. And we don't really need to use automatic reference counting. In fact, it won't work with just vanilla C. So we can uncheck that box and click Next. <clears throat> it's asking me now for a location to save my project files. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Create because this is exactly where I want to save them. I'll click Create. And the first screen we'll see is the build settings screen, which shows the targets and then some build settings for the, uh, for the file. When the build phases, we can see that our target dependencies, we also have compile sources, which is going to be main.c, and we'll look at that file in a moment. We can also link in libraries, if we have any, and we can copy files. The build rules will show my various settings vis-a-vis uh, -vis the compiler and things like that. <clears throat> so now I'm going to look at main.c. Now this should look very familiar to you uh, if you know C and one of the prerequisites uh, we discussed was that you're already at least somewhat familiar with the C programming language. So this is main.c and we can see that this is just a normal main function. Every C program has to have a main function. This is true also in Objective-C. So there is a main function and this main function takes two parameters, the count of arguments, that's an integer called argc, and an array containing the arguments. And these are command line arguments. You don't very often see arguments being passed in to the command line in an Objective-C program, but you might. And then for debug purposes mainly. And then all we're doing here is printing out the string hello world with a new line and then returning zero, which is very normal for a uh, Unix type C main function. So now we're going to go ahead and run this and we'll click on the big run button here. And we'll see down in our output window, hello world. And that's it. So we know that our installation of Xcode is working just fine. Everything is uh, everything is good. 
Very good. So now we'll begin learning Objective-C in the next set of videos. Thank you very much.